P-TECH Applied Science Unit 1 Physics and this video is about spectra and what spectra are and what they used to do. Spectroscopy. Okay, we'll start with a question. How do we know what stars are made from? I mean stars are billions of miles away, tiny little dots in the sky. How do we actually know what they're made from? How do we know what the Sun is made from? And the answer is that we look at the wavelengths of the light that they emit. And by studying the light that these stars emit, we can work out a huge amount about them, including what they are made of. Okay, now how does this work? Well, uh, here's an atom and atoms can get excited and it's to do with the electrons whizzing around the atom jumping up to energy levels you might remember energy levels from the chemistry and when electrons jump up energy levels they get excited when the electrons fall back down to a lower energy level then the atom emits light it emits packets of light energy which we call photons so light comes from excited atoms and something very very interesting is that different elements emit different wavelengths of light uh, there's a thing that they do in chemistry called a flame test where they put different elements in a Bunsen flame and when you do this you get different colors because different elements emit characteristic colors of light if you put copper in a Bunsen flame, you see green. If you put sodium in a Bunsen flame, you see yellow, etc. Different elements emit different colors, different wavelengths of light. For example, this is what we call the emission spectrum for helium. This is basically the colors of light that helium atoms give off when they get excited. And all helium atoms give off the same colors. Okay, this is the emission spectrum for helium. If we can measure the wavelength of the light given off by something, we can actually work out what elements it contains. It's a bit like a barcode. Each element has its own barcode. And when helium atoms get excited, this is the, the barcode for helium. It's emission spectrum. Now, to measure the different wavelengths, we use something called a diffraction grating which is a slide which has thousands and thousands of slits. This particular diffraction grating has 1,200 lines per millimeter. Yeah, the slits are very, very close together, lots and lots of slits. And what happens is that the, we put the light through the diffraction grating and we get interference. Each slit acts as a, a source and then all of these different sources interfere with each other. If you don't know about interference, I've already done a video on this, you should have a look at it first. At certain angles we get constructive interference and that's because the, the path difference for the different slits at these angles means that the, the waves of light arrive in phase, we get constructive interference. And if we work out the angles, if we measure the angles at which we get constructive interference, then we can work out the wavelength of the light. Okay, so we shine light through the diffraction grating and then the different wavelengths or the different colors, we get constructive interference at different angles. For example, in this photograph, you see that green light is at a particular angle and that's because the path difference for different slits is equal to the wavelength of green light at that angle. Okay, uses of spectroscopy, as I've said in astronomy, if you look at the light that stars emit, you can work out what stars are made of. It's used in chemical analysis. If you give a chemist a substance and you say, well, find out what that is for me, one of the things that the chemist will do will possibly do a flame test and they will look at the colors that the substance emits when it gets excited. It's used in ecology in monitoring things like oxygen levels in environmental studies. Lots of uses for spectroscopy. 
These are the key ideas which you need to remember. When atoms get excited, they emit light. Atoms of different elements emit different wavelengths or colours of light. If we observe the emission spectrum of a substance, we can identify what elements it contains. We can measure the wavelength of the different colours using a diffraction grating. And diffraction gratings use interference. Okay, they rely on the interference of light waves.